Hello Queens, today we are going to be discussing the issue of romance against our newly found love, the group mat, the hair group mat. So a group mat usually looks like this. It has, uh, you can see it has stainless steel needles. I hope this camera can focus. Let me move it. Yes. It has uh, steel needles and it's normally made out of leather. So that this is how the grommet comes. We also sell them on House of Kings, by the way. But if you're doing, I would say, if you're doing extremely large scale projects, then you can use this. And hello, queens. How are you? Uh, so today. We are going to be reviewing a small product that I've been using and I'm now pretty comfortable actually talking about it to you. Now what happened is I I normally use a draw mat to ventilate all my wigs and what a draw mat does, it helps me separate um, hair strands according to length and according to, yeah, actually according to length. That helps me to get actual length for the hair I'll be using to ventilate. Say I'm using a 14 inch, I typically use a 16 inch bundle or 16 inch piece of hair, which is what I'll, I'll cut off the, the weft top where it's stitched and then uh, use my draw mat to, to actually select the hair strands. So over time I discovered that um, majority of the repair work that I normally do is not so much does not require so much hair so you find that the draw mat, draw mat usually requires like if you're using a full bundle or something like that so i discovered something else something that has been in the hair industry for a long time probably some of you know it some of you don't and for those who don't probably you've heard of the hair it's so for those who know probably you've heard of something called the hair grip now the hair grip is a piece of um, almost like velcro and it it is used to slick back hair especially when people are doing haircuts caucasian haircuts or when they're um, they're styling hair and they want to get a, a number of of um, strands away from the area that is being worked on now i have with me one piece of that hair grip it looks like this i've been using it if you've noticed in my video in my videos whenever i'm doing ventilation i will use this to to partition the hair after partition the hair i'll use it to lay it down or i'll use it to actually nowadays i use them to hold the hair that i'll be cutting this particular product is is not very pricey i uh, will leave that uh, in the description below in the description bar below i will insert a link as to where you can actually purchase this um market ranges are between i think 60 it depends 60 to 100 shillings depending on the site you buy from i personally buy bought this from jumia and in no way jumia is is, is paying for this for this um uh product um referral uh i bought it off jumia i love this particular hair grips but my last order i noticed didn't have the the cestomen so they were plain and I prefer the plain ones to the ones that are already branded because this could be, it could actually belong to an existing hair company and I do not want to be part of um, a syndicate that actually promotes uh, use of uh, other people's work to, to make profit out of. So let me show you how basically you would use this if you're parting hair or you're trying to create a side part or you're trying to black hair trying to get your defi defining area or if you're working with hair from on one side and you want to partition it on another side and you do not want the mostly the the uh, what do you call them <laughs> those flyaways those small hairs that are normally returns after ventilation is done you use this so you basically place it here and then you Pull it towards this other direction you see the way it lays flat and maybe i want to pick this other one and place it this other direction to lay it flat 
you see the way it holds on to hair it doesn't nothing pops up so even the removal process is normally very messy so you see Mona, what has happened to my hair eventually so i'm using i'm currently using this this particular mat uh, or hair grip to do my ventilation lately because i do not want to use a lot of hair i also have with me two other types two other types of um, the the list grips i have this one which is normally a box shape and comes in a purple color uh, these are for personal use i'm not selling these particular items so i use this or i use i have a black the black square one as well i like this one because the curves in this area i can't be able to put a lot of hair up to the end because um, it will oh my god a lady with lip gloss that's what happens let me grip my hair it's giving me it's giving me issues so basically i'm currently i'm using this black one or the system um or this purple one so what i normally do is i'll pick i'll pick my my piece of um piece of weft like this like this one i think it's around 16 inches so what i normally do with this is um i'll not use the whole of it because it may not fit in my entire mat but i like using i like using the purple one for the dark hair uh, reason being when it's too black also you can't and we're trying to ventilate most of you who ventilated know the, the troubles we have in terms of uh, sight it is a there's usually a problem with the lighting you have to be very careful about lighting you have to be careful about your eyes because uh, over time you may find yourself wearing spectacles because of the amount of concentration and uh, viewing you have to do of this particular strand and making sure it gets into the particular hole it's supposed to so basically i'm not going to cut this um this particular this particular um, weft so i will place it like this usually i like placing it somewhere in the middle and it behaves like velcro completely like velcro the way velcro behaves that's the same way these uh, hair grips behave so i will normally place it like this once i place it on this mat like this and i make sure i press it in so that we don't have any loose hair standing anywhere i will i will pull i will pull the weft i will pull the weft up so that i have enough room to enable me cut the weft those who ventilated know that cutting the weft and trying to work this hair becomes very problematic at times so when you place it like this and your weft is up here i leave like an inch on top but if it's shorter hair i leave something shorter because what you want to do every weft has smaller returns as well so you want to make sure all those are out and at least some allowance that allows you to be able to to once you cut the hair you have an allowance to allow you to be able to work around with this hair so once i place it like this i'll close i'll close the mat oh my god i placed it wrongly it's the problem of having this mat but the beauty is you can be able to rework the hair so let me just rework it actually let me just fold i'll fold i'll fold the let me pan down I will fold the weft into two, place it on my draw mat, my now new draw mat. I like calling it that. I love these mats as well. I really love them. So we, you remember we've left the, the at least like a one inch up here. This one will help you in terms of trying to control the hair. Then we'll take the second mat, ensure you place it correctly and it lies To form a square complete square and then you press it in when you press it in what it does it, it gets hold of all the hair that was that was placed on that mat and it won't move all it will move but only when you when you pull it out so what happens i will cut i will cut this weft around this area and then i will use a rat tail comb the very fine uh, tooth comb and brush off or comb out the, the small hairs while holding the mat from the bottom while I'm holding the mat from the bottom as you comb there's a tendency for some strands that were not uh, held into the particular draw mat to be pulled out 
and you do not want to start working with lengths that are not layered properly. So what happens, you see the way we've placed it like this. Already I can tell you, you can tell where the longer strands are. These ones I'll be able, immediately you cut, you can be able to pull, you just hold from down here. You decide what, which length you want to start working with. I like working with uh, longer lengths towards the back and at the, at the sides so that when the smaller ones come come on top, uh, they actually create some form of layering. So I'll pick, I'll pick, and I also use the small ones at the front to create the baby hairs, because I do single strand, uh, uh, single strand, uh, the single strand technique at the front when re-ventilating hair. So you'll pick this small one at the, at the bottom. Those, these are your most long, these are your longest lengths. So when you pull them out, you'll be able to work with that particular. I just remembered I had a, a draw mat that I'd already used, I had already cut the hair. You see what happens when you cut and you brush them off, this one tends, tend to go up. So for, this one was stored away. Why, why, actually this was 20, this was 20, I think 20, a 20 inch bundle, no 22 inch bundle. You see the length. It was it's a 22 inch bundle. The single drawn hair tends to have so many smaller ha hairs that I use. Of, I call them fillers. Uh, where you, at times it's hard to get the true length of that hair because of the amount of fillers that are put in. So while you touch the bundle at the top, it is quite heavy or quite thick. But when you get to the bottom, it's thin. That's single drawn hair. Double drawn hair, on the other hand, it is full from the bottom from the top to the bottom as in when you touch the entire hair most majority of the strands actually usually about 90 percent of the strands are usually the same length so this there's, there's something called hair sorting that is done to create uh double drawn hair double drawn hair cannot be cut from one single head and uh, stitched into a bundle they have to go through a process called sorting and that's the reason why double drawn hair is slightly more expensive actually not slightly expensive it's more expensive than single drawn hair because of that particular factor the length of the strands is similar all through you could find a few that are short but they're not short up to this level they are short maybe just a quarter inch right before the end of the bundle so that's how double drawn hair is created and this is the same process we are going through trying to create uh, double drawn strands for ventilation so let me untie the, the so i'd start this away so this is how it looks like and this is how my long lens look like so what i will do is that i'll pick the very long strands like from here you you pull them out of the mat you see you pull them out of the mat and your hair is still intact what you what you had left now i have very long uh, the longest strands of that particular weft which are these ones so what i would do is now either i will use this for my ventilation but since i'm not going to ventilate today i normally have a process where i keep keep this Sorry, I'm trying to reach out for my rubber band. I, I, I normally keep such rubber bands in the house, which I normally use to tie, tie this particular hair together so that I can be able to use it in another, in another assignment or another ventilation process. So I normally tie the rubber band. Why I split them like this is because I want to be able to have control over the hair when I'm tr I'm, I'm raveling and I don't want to lose so many strands in that process. So basically I'll tie it around, tie it around until I get to the end. This is sufficient for me. So this, we've already created a fast, very long strands and we've separated them from the rest of the hair. So that is done. That is actually a 22 inch actual 22 inch uh, length so the mat now ha still has some long hairs that i can work with which i can see down here so i'll just hold the ones at the tail bottom and pull them out of that mat 
what happens i have shorter shorter strands remaining this ones you don't throw away reason being uh, you find this ones look like uh, 12 inches you can use this on a 12 inch um, wig reventilating a closure for a 12 feet if a 12 inch wig or um creating baby hairs for your for your units so this one i still tie it up with with um i keep getting out of frame i should have put them closer to me so i'll do my usual ritual of tying down with the rubber bands so that i can be able to sort and stop how i store them is i store them in lengths and um i have a particular place and now i store all the all the hair and i only use uh, virgin hair for reventilation uh, that comes from a, a bundle so when you're doing a consultation always remember to ask if the client is coming in with their own hair always assess the hair if it's in good shape if um, you feel it might be a waste using if it's colored hair you might have to dye the hair before ventilation so that it matches the, the hair of the client so here we have two different bundles you see the lens very different they are, they are side by side but you can tell the lens are very different this this whole process is not messy it's not messy at all that's the reason why we I love using this particular mat so I have these other items so I'll sort this later so I'm very happy to have shown you this um, you may not afford a draw mat draw mats start from all the way from $30 all the way to $100 depending on the type you're getting and where you're getting it from they're made out of leather and very strong steel nails and the, those steel nails actually can rip your your fingers off if you're not very careful so I have looking at it closely I have 14 inches I have 12 inches and I have a few 10 inch strands which I can be able to use in another project yeah so get yourself one I'll put the um, I'll put the link in the description bar below for where you can purchase this uh, system and mats they work the same as this I, I I've told you I prefer this because of its box nature I don't and because I'm I work with very very longer bundles I, I mean the the, the weft is slightly longer because I do not want to go back to the process of sorting hair every other time so once I sort I keep away because I, I currently have a project I'm working on that's the reason why that hair was there so I'm working on a actually it's a it's an 18 inch so the 20 the, the 22 inch strands will assist me because once I fold once I fold the hair when going to to do the ventilation it should help me with a bigger return the return also you need not to have extremely long returns because what happens is uh, when you wash your hair the cuticles open and when the cuticles open and when they are on the opposite side what happens to that hair it starts matting so you find you say those closures were bad because they were they, they were matting okay there's some which normally have very bad hair but there's some closures because of the length of the return that was left uh, after ventilation it causes it and it sits there that hair stands strand sits right opposite the the hair strand you ventilated which is sitting in the right side the correct um how do i put it explaining it is so hard but let me let me do it practically let me do it practically let me pull a few strands from here so what happens is these ones are assumed to be what is on the scalp this is the end of a strand no this is the beginning of a strand that starts from your head and then this is the end of a strand which is where you find most of the split ends and all that stuff and actually it's very easy to tell the end of a hair because it, it kind of has has a sharp end a sharp end it's not as blunt as the top so what happens when you're ventilating you're folding hair and adding it into the into the into the list and when you fold that hair this amount this amount is is good enough the one that is on this particular mat i like this length uh, as a return but if you make them longer what happens is you see you've placed your hair like this this is how your closure normally looks like 
when we ventilate hair. So what happens is these returns are sitting on the opposite side of the hair shaft. So what happens when you're washing and you wash with, uh, I don't recommend washing your hair with extremely hot water because it opens up the cuticles. It, cuticles burst open. And when they burst open, and these ones are also bursting open and they're sitting on the opposite side, what happens? They intertangle. They tangle, sorry. They, they, they interlock and that's where the tangling starts from. And that's why you, you've heard of horror stories where uh, a frontal, a closure, never left a sink because of the amount of um, tangling that happened. So I recommend using lukewarm water when washing your, the front part of your lace. Uh, and if you can't be able to do that, at least take it to a professional to have it washed and also be very, very clear. Don't wash it with hot water. Hot water opens the cuticles. It creates tangling for your frontals. I know a few people who are in the professional field of making wigs even for, for Hollywood and stuff. Majority of them trim this. The process of trimming is very, I would say it could be costly because uh, that's, that's, that's also a technique that people learn and uh, may, may not be commensurate to how much that particular piece may cost. That's why you find where independent wig makers start making their own wigs from scratch and have, have to ventilate hair for a particular piece, charge very expensively because of the amount of time they're putting in into that and ensuring that that hair doesn't tangle. So that's that. You have your draw mat. Use it. Um, it's They're normally cheap. They're not expensive. Um, I think the system one, I got them for 65 shillings. No. Actually, not 65 shillings. It was 66 shillings on uh, Jumia. I'll put a link below. And uh, this ones I had bought them off uh, one of my hair suppliers where I requested to send me these particular mats. But they still work the same as these ones. And I like them. I like the Sestoman ones because of uh, the, the height. You see, they are slightly shorter. I like this one for long lengths as well uh, because uh, the hair grip is longer. While this one, if you're working with very short strands, this is very, 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 very nice. Yeah. I hope you've learned something. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the channel again. Mm -hmm. And from us, it's uh, Kohiri. See you next time. And remember to subscribe and be good. Thank you.